Hello, my name is Skylar Smith. I do technical sales and support here at Apogee Instruments, and we're here to do another frequently asked questions video. Today we're going to talk about the BTM 3000 update instructions. Uh, the reason why we have the BTM 3000 update is we have switched the way we do the format on the software and the, for and the firmware. And so because of that, um, say for example, it did work on an old computer, but then you downloaded the latest BTM 3000 and it's not working on your new computer, then you would need to do these firmware instructions to get it to work appropriately. So here's a few reasons why you might be interested in this video. Did your sensor work on a different computer and it's not working now? Uh, does your sensor show connected but with no serial number? And there's a few other small things in there you may be able to pick up if and figure out why your sensor is not working and we'll get it working for you. So, this is what the original software looked like, the original format. Had your micromole reading right there, said Biotech Marine. This is what it currently looks like. If this is what your screen shows with your micromole per meter squared per second reading here, and you're showing connected here, you're set. You're all done. You don't need to worry about any sort of firmware or software upgrade. You're, you're there. You're good to go. You can pause or turn off the video now. If, however, you're like everyone else, you probably see something more like this, where you're reading 0.0, .0 here, and you're showing device not connected here, or you're showing connected here, but 0.0. .0. We'll cover both of those issues by the end of this video. Before we go on, though, I do need to stress this point. The firmware update has to happen on a PC, and it can't happen on a Mac. Now, once we've updated the firmware on your sensor, on a PC, you'll, you're good to go on a Mac. It's going to work great. The new software works great on a Mac, but you just can't upgrade the firmware on it. That has to happen on a PC. So friend, neighbor, whoever you need to borrow a PC from to update it, and then you'll be set to go on your own Mac. Now what I've done here is I've outlined all the instructions. This is the all-inclusive troubleshooting instructions for you to go through. And I've put these up here, and you can see I'm scrolling through them fast. You can just pause if you want to see something and go back to it. We've also listed these instructions on our website under the technical support page. So this is just to give you something to refer back to if for whatever reason the situations I go through don't match up with yours perfectly, you can come back to one of these steps and it will answer for you. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into our demonstration. So here we are, blank screen. Well, we need to get the latest version of BTM 3000. We have here an old sensor that has the old firmware on it, and it would work just fine on the old software, but that's not our example. Our example is the latest software that we need to upgrade the firmware on. Where do we find it? AppGInstruments.com. There we are. We come across to the support tab. Then we come down here to where it says software downloads. Click there. And then we'll come over to Biotech Marine. Click right there. And we have our manual and then our two versions. Of course, we're doing the firmware update, so we're on PC version. We'll click there. A pretty basic way for it to download uh, files here, down here in the corner of our internet browser. It's going to take uh, a few seconds for it uh, to get, I think it's the file size is like uh, 40 megabytes or thereabouts. So once that gets loaded there, then we'll click on it and go through the install instructions. So there we go. We have our .exe file. Open that up. And then our install shield is going to show up right here in the middle. Pretty basic instructions. We'll just go through this. We hit next. Yes, I accept the terms in the license agreement. Next, yes, I want to install it there. Um, program files x86 BTM 3000. Install. Yes, I'm okay installing this. So we click through these. All right, now. If you had uh, a slightly older version of the software, it may not have come up with this launch driver installation. We do want to make sure that's checked for all the, the latest version. So it looks like this. We hit finish. 
Yes, we're okay with that. So we will let it do, if we click right here, we can see device driver installation wizard. All right, so we click next. It's installing our drivers for us. This is excellent. We hit finish, we're done. That part is done. Now we have the BTM3000 software. So let's open that up and see what we see. Pull this up. There we go. Again, this is probably why you're watching the video because you followed those steps and you've landed here. What do I do now? All right, so first thing is, let's just close the software for now. And we need to pull up our device manager. So there's a couple ways to do this through control panel. I like Windows 10, I just click down here and type in device manager pops right up. I open it up here. Now, we can see it says BTM3000 USB sensor. So it's trying to recognize it, but it has a yellow dot, okay? So in our example, this is what we're dealing with. So what I'm going to do is right click on him and I am going to uninstall. And it's going to say, are you sure you want to delete the driver software for this, soft for this device? Answer is yes. I make sure that's checked. I click OK. He is gone. All right. He is out of there. So if we open BTM3000, we can see it says, would you like to update your firmware? Yes, I would. So we hit OK, and it comes up. Now, if yours did not come up the first time, there have been instances where you just have to close out of the software and then uh, disconnect, reconnect your sensor, and then open the software again. For some reason, some computers take twice. But once you get to this screen where after it says, would you like to do the firmware update, and you click yes, then you click on USB quantum version two. The correct version is version two. This will work for you. There are a few instances who need version three, but you'll want to contact us if you think you're one of those cases. Everyone else, it's version two. If once you have your sensor reading, if it's reading in the 5000 area, it means you clicked version three. You need to just update your firmware to version two and we can show you a couple of those steps later on as well. So we click version two, click open, let it do its firmware update. All right, so it's asking us to reconnect the device. If we hit OK and pull it apart, and reconnect it, The first thing we will notice, right? Again, we're not showing any progress here. Let's close it and reopen the software. Would you like to do the update now? I said you may have to do it twice. We're going to have to do it twice. Do open. Let this come up here. Let it do that firmware update. Now, you'll notice that when it was done correctly, it says USB serial device COM3 over here in device manager. That's why I like to leave device manager running in the background. All right, so if we hit OK, then it automatically comes up. All right, please enter the serial number. We know our serial number is 1166. We can find that on the white tab right here next to it. It says BTM3000 1166. I hit OK. comes up, device connected, serial number 1166. All right, so now for those of you who have 0, 0.0, but your device is connected, this step is for you. Uh, it's also on those pages before it said important last step, number 11. So what we do is we click here on the gear, click on calibration. So under multiplier, we're in caps lock, we're going to type in factory and hit enter. And then it will allow us to overwrite permanent calibration. If we hit 0, 0.0, we're going to overwrite. You also see it will allow you to update firmware. If for whatever reason um, you tried other steps and you couldn't update the firmware, but you can connect and it will allow you to update the firmware here, this is a, a way to do it as well. So I overwrite and then I click save. We give it a few seconds to load 
and then it will begin reading. There we go, 5.6. So that's what we're reading with our lights in here is six. So those are the steps to update the firmware on your BTM 3000 and to get it to work with the latest software. If you have any questions, feel free to email us or call us at tech support here. Thank you very much. Thank you.